what is going on guys all right i keep getting interrupted in this video and i just keep getting way off track so i'm, I'm gonna try to be real quick uh, a couple new updates have came to the game um the biggest and i think most important thing um uh, and something i'm pretty happy about uh but there is a little sour feeling with it i guess this uh the charm effect has increased with these flowers before you could spend 120,000 gold, get from uh, level 0 to level 10, and get 5% defensive damage, defensive damage reduction by sending flowers. It now goes up to level 20, and you can get offensive damage and offensive damage reduction. Now, just to show you a difference um, in the cost, because I originally thought, all right, if it's 120,000, to max it out to level 10 now it's up to level 20 you're just gonna what double it right i mean that's that would be what what i think um let's just go back crap all right okay so this was this morning I never read the messages about the updates and in the chats and everything like that. Um, so I didn't know this was going on. But woke up, sent my 120, got my defensive damage, had saw that it can it can increase. So I was like, oh, or someone told me, uh, Mr. Random told me you can now get offensive damage from it. So I was like, what the hell? So I sent the 120, then I just sent a little bit more just to go ahead and see. Um, and it did show that it showed the next level and, and yada, yada, yada. So I was like, all right, well, um, fuck it. So I, I went and sent, uh, 69 that equals 80. All right. So now I am, um, what three fourths of the way. Um, so I'm thinking I should be at like level 18 or 17 or something like that. I'm at like level 11, um, or, or 12 or something like that. So I sent another 40 to make it another 120 to see what I was at. Um, and I was at, uh, what was it? 13, maybe 13 or 12. I, I don't, I don't remember exactly, but I'm like, fuck man, that sucks. So the, is, they're either costing more or what you need to upgrade the level increases. It just, keeps increasing like it did from level one to ten anyway so i then went and spent another 120 to um see how far i went up i was at level 13 spent another 120 keep in mind this one 120 000 used to get me from level one to ten i've now done it three times and i'm at 15 all right. So I spent 120k and got to 10. I spent 120k and got to 13. I spent 120k and got to 15. Now to get these last five levels, all right, to go ahead and get the uh 2% offensive damage reduction and 3% offensive damage, I mean, what's it going to cost? Is it going to be 120,000 for every level? I mean, holy shit. So keep in mind, it's getting pretty ridiculously expensive, um, but, you know, the, the possibility there, you know, to get it up another 5%, that's pretty good. It lasts for two weeks, so you got to redo it all the time, but I mean, it's kind of similar to weekly, monthly packs, subscriptions, whatever. You just get statistics with it instead of items or something so it's not too bad it's a little excessive and i think the price is ridiculous but it's not bad uh, i think it's more of a good thing but besides that take a look at the golden chest event all right just started again and now the skin that they have on here i'm, I'm pretty sure this is brand new i think this is the first time it's being released so you can go and spend gold um, and try to get this now just from looking at the skin uh, the graphics and, and everything it does I'm sure it's gonna be a dogfight to try to get in the top 10 whether for your server or for all server um, so keep that in mind it's gonna be hella expensive so there's those few new things that seem to be revolved around spending gold um, and then it's consumption event with some new wings. 
So, uh, I mean, it looks like what they're trying to do for this week is spend gold. Spend gold. They want everyone to spend gold. Look at all this new shit. Spend gold. You want offensive damage? Spend gold. And now there was one other thing, but it's actually been nerfed, it looks like. It was taken away. I don't know the reasoning behind it. I'm sure we'll get a message at some sort, um, at some point. Them saying something about it. Well, there they go about the charm increase. Here's the um, super welfare items that I was just about to tell you about. Right in there. So you can go and take a look at your messes and they're sitting there talking about it. There's the increase of the charm capacity. Alright, and so they have this uh, Children's Day skin, which was being... Uh... Oh shit, camera time. Oh, me and my new glasses. Uh, hold on, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, um... They also have this for sale. Well, it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of neat. It's a cute little skin. It's funny, fun to look at. Um, I'm probably not going to bother with it, though. But it's, you know, it's one of those things that come out at a certain time, and then it'll uh, probably never be released again. So if you're into collecting skins in this game, it's pretty cheap, $19.99. All right, so besides that, there were items that were for sale. All right, they cost 3,000 uh, gold. You could get a maximum of 100. There were two of them. So a maximum of 600K gold a day that you could spend on getting these things. All right, now the reasoning behind people getting them, which I'm sure a fuck ton of people have gotten them, is because of what was in them. Let me go back real fast. All right, so here they were. There was one item, a uh, magic wand, mm -hmm. and the next one was a magic hat. They were both the exact same thing, except for the magic hat, you could get that children's day skin, and the magic wand, you can get that lovely childhood castle. But besides that, everything else was the same. They had magic essence, feather of heaven, dragon soul, counter effect enhancement, dragon skill chest, battle him, halo, eight hour speeds, one hour speeds. Now... Those are two gold dragon skills that you could possibly get from getting these. All right. <clears throat> that battle him halo, I'm pretty sure that's just the solo march thing. Uh, but this counter effect, all right, having a gold counter effect dragon skill, that's, that's fucking huge. To give you an idea of how huge, let's take a look at what that skill sells for on a daily basis. Or at least what, what they sell for. I don't know if people actually buy it or not. Um, a million of these uh, little coins right here, which will cost you 1,000 buckaroos. Um, American, at least. Not using Aptoid or Amazon coins or anything like that. But this is a $1,000 skill by itself. Maxes out at 5%, meaning it's going to be a 5-star skill that you have to enhance. So you need a minimum of five of them, which is $5,000. You might even need six. You get one to activate it, and then you need one more to activate each star. So maybe six, unless you activate the first star as soon as you activate it. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. I know I have something in here. I don't know if when you max this out um, before when to get it to where you can start enhancing it um, how much that is it goes far down there um, I'm not sure if that'll then be one star or not so it's either five or six thousand to get that normally and here you can buy it for 3,000 gold, maximum of 100, with a chance of 0 0.0025 to win it. All right, now in case you guys don't remember from math class, let's see the chances of that. So there's the decimal point. 
All right, the 10, the 100, the 1,000, the 10,000. So that's 25th, that, 10, 10,000. So it's point, you have a, a tw uh, 25 thousandth with a TH on the end of a chance of getting that that skill. And then you have to try to get it again to enhance it to make it worth a fuck because at one star it's probably like 0.5%. At two star like 0.9%. Three star 1.3%. Four star. You know, something like that. I don't know. Whatever. It's a little more. But you really need to get it, you know, three, four, five stars to make it worth a fuck. Um, otherwise, it's $1,000 per percent pretty much of counter. Holy fuck. Fuck that, man. That's crazy. But to give you an, an idea again of how unlikely it is you'll get this. All right, let's go. Let's go take a look at arguably the most difficult decoration to get in this game on chance chests. All right. Not if you, if something pops up and you buy it outright, but if you buy chests, This little fucker right here. This thunderstorm decoration. I, I mean, it's not just my idea. I've heard tons and tons of people who buy decorations. Their opinion of the most difficult one to get is this thundercloud decoration. Let's see the chances. 0.1392. So you would think, uh, ideally, um, I mean, you should. every 10 of them should get one. Or maybe it's 100. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, I'm not good with all that. But you can see the difference, 0.1392 as opposed to 0 0.0025. That's the likelihood of getting this. And now let, let's just let's just see what else are the decorations that are for sale today. Let's go ahead and take a look. Un memento, poor flavor. Sunset wings. 0.2131 Desert Storm Aura 0.4164 And just for shits and giggles, let's look at this ugly ass thing. 0.2086 That's all the decorations that are for sale, right? And I have the uh, Sunset Wings and the Desert Aura, so I can tell you how easy or slash difficult it is getting these. It's all just opinion um, based on the amount of money it costs, obviously. But this is just crazy. This is crazy. Thunderstorm? Counter effect. And then you have to think about upgrading it and getting the stars up. So, I mean... Don't waste your money on that shit. If they bring it back, which, I mean, they might not, but if they do, holy fuck, do not waste your money. Uh, but that's it, man. I, I just wanted to uh, post the update on the flowers. I thought that was pretty cool. That's a, a pretty, decent, um, pretty, decent, pretty decent little advantage to have. It's just fucking expensive, man. They seem to be all about this spending gold right now. Get gold, spend gold, get stuff. <laughs> I don't know. These wings are pretty sweet. Well, actually, they're kind of lame. The wings themselves, is not. it's not like good graphics or, or artwork. They're just orange, shapey things. A uh, little flying up and down. I don't know. I mean, look, look at, like, other wings. There's a lot more detail in other ones. This is another one where, like, the gold thing's pretty cool, but the wing effect, it just looks like pink ribbons hanging down. Here's the sunset. These are probably one of my favorite wings. Cool. These are really neat. This is another thing. It's not like much detail, but they look good. These are probably my all-time favorite. Yeah, what 
whatever. Anyways, the wings look good. Uh, not sure if anything else is coming up. I think we got C opening up in a day or so. Mineral Vein. I guess we're going to see what this new team is about. Peace.